Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing another spotlight on petite palettes. This time we're going to be doing a look today with the new and also new to me Natasha Denona Mini Gold Palette. This palette retails for it's $20 or $25 at Sephora. I'll look it up and I'll put it right here. Um, I bought this back when I was on vacation in October along with the Metropolis palette. So I am still working with the Metropolis palette. Spoiler alert, so far I really like it. <laughs> I actually really like it, I can't lie. It's got those grungy tones that I love. And back when the gold palette was kind of sneak peek, peaked and released, I was tempted by it, but I didn't want to spend that much money on another big Natasha Denona palette that I didn't think I was going to get full use out of. So when this mini gold palette came out and essentially had the shades I was most drawn to in the palette, I was like, yes, that, that is what I want. <laughs> essentially just the greens and like this gold shimmer in the middle here. The last two shades, you know, the brown, the light brown and the dark brown, I've got those, I've got those even in this formula. But I think this is such a cute mini palette and I love the whole idea behind her series of mini palettes. So I'm going to walk you through the first look I'm going to do because this is my first impression. I have not tried this out yet. I really wanted to do it on camera for a spotlight on petite palette series. This is a series that I started a while ago and I'm trying to bring back up and use more often, which is basically me doing my best to reach for and use my smaller palettes. You know, palettes where you're really only getting one or two looks out of them. and just trying to get me to reach more for smaller palettes because I definitely struggle when I reach when it comes to reaching for smaller palettes and reaching for like really big palettes. So I've already done my full face of makeup and I've also primed and set my eyelids so I really just wanted to jump right in. I think I'm going to first take this light brown beige kind of shade in my transition and then I'm going to jump straight into these greens. <laughs> I cannot wait. Okay, I will say that does look a lot darker like on the lid than it does like in the pan. So next I want to go in with that matte olive army kind of green shade right here and just start throwing some green on my face. <laughs> mm, those shades are actually working really well together. All right, I'm really liking the green. I think it looks cute. Uh, I don't think I match the shades up well. This seems to be more outward and this one's not really as outward, but <laughs> I think I wanna go in now on the lid with the gold shimmer to see how it's gonna look. Oh, and I got shadow all over my hand. <laughs> Messy. Oh, this is, this is a gorgeous gold. <laughs> it's getting close so you can see. And this is without um, a glitter primer or anything because this is kind of how I like to test out the shimmer shadows for the first time. I do have a bit of fallout down here so I'm going to clean that up before I go to my lower lash line. So for my lower lash line I'm just going to use the combination of the first two matte shades that I used, the kind of light brown and like this deep green. Okay, so the last thing I want to do before I go in with line, not liner, before I go in with mascara to finish this look off, I want to use this dark brown shade, which has a little bit of shimmer, I think, to it. I don't think it's a total matte, but I'm going to use this just on a flat kind of brush like this, and I just want to do a little bit of a liner just on, like, the outer third of my lid, just to give it just a nice kind of defined... I wish I had a better angle. Let me see if I can find a better angled brush. I need a really good, like, really thin angled brush because all the angled brushes I have right now, they're, like, a bit 
frayed and so they're not like the most sharp ones. I need to get a new one. Yeah, not as thin of a line as I would like, but working with it. Oh, that's a bit better. I found this Milani double-sided brush and this is pretty sharp. <laughs> Okay, and this is the final look. I have to say, I'm happy with it. This is kind of exactly what I was expecting from this palette. Just like one nice, kind of muted green look, essentially. And I'm, I'm really happy with it. The only thing that I would have changed is I really don't think like the brown shades are kind of necessary because I'm going for a green look. Odds are I won't use that brown shade as a transition again. I'll probably just go in with the green shade, especially since I have this darker green shade here. I can use that to deepen out with the other matte shades. So I really don't think those are really necessary, especially because you've got limited real estate in here. I would have probably just made those maybe another shimmer and then like another green shade. That would have been like my, my perfect palette, but I still really enjoy this and I do think that these mini palettes from Natasha Denona are really worth it. <laughs> if you're new to Natasha Denona or if you've never tried the formula or if you want to, you know, expand your collection but you don't want to spend money on the big palettes, I really think these are worth it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you like this video, you'll give it a thumbs up and I'll throw up in the cards my playlist of all the other Spotlight on Petite petite palettes that I have done in this series so far. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.